Hello sports fans and welcome to the Scott Sports uh, 101 special Tuesday night football week 15 doubleheader because of COVID-19. We had two games tonight and we'll go over both of them in just a moment. But first here is today's Scott Sports 101 week 15 Tuesday night football uh, doubleheader trivia question. It's a uh, Philadelphia Eagles question from 2004. In their week two Monday night matchup against the uh, Minnesota Vikings, how many uh, total yards did the Eagles let the Vikes pile up on offense. I'll have the answer later in the podcast. The LA Rams beat the Seattle Seahawks 20-10 to tonight at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Cooper Cup caught two touchdown passes from Matthew Stafford in the second half, and the Los Angeles Rams held off the Seattle Seahawks 20 to 10 Tuesday night on a in a rescheduled game between two COVID-19 depleted teams. Cup broke Isaac Bruce's single season Rams reception record in the third quarter with a six yard TD uh, catch that was also the 120th of his spectacular year. The NFL's receiving leader then scored a tie-breaking 29-yard touchdown with 10.48 to play on a picture-perfect throw in the middle uh, from Stafford to cap an 88-yard drive. Stafford passed for 244 yards, so he Metro West for 92 for the Rams. And they now go to 10-4 in a game postponed from Sunday while Cup had 9 catches, 136 yards in the third in the third straight victory for the Los, for Los Angeles following a <clears throat> winless November. With its third victory over Seattle in 2021, Los Angeles pulled even with Arizona at top of the NFC West and three games to play, although the Cardinals uh, hold the tiebreaker on, uh, di- on division record. DJ Dallas rushed for a touchdown for the Seahawks' a streak of nine consecutive winning seasons. Under Coach Pete Carroll ended, Seattle is still a mathematically alive for its ninth playoff appearance in those 10 seasons, but regret losing uh, a mentally winnable game at SoFi Stadium. Both defenses uh, excelled in in a meeting of two teams with significant COVID-19 related absences. The Rams were Without starting right tackle Rob Havenstein, leading tackler Jordan Fuller and tight end Tyler Higby, and and a host of backups 10 days after roster turmoil, while the Seahawks were without leading receiver Tyler Lockett and starting a quarterback DJ Reed and leading rusher Alex Collins. Carlos uh, Dunlap had three uh, of the Seattle Seahawks' four sacks of Stafford, who didn't get comfortable behind... Uh, a reconfigured offense, uh, offensive line. Excuse me. Seattle just couldn't uh, get enough. Uh, big plays from Russell Wilson, who went 17 of 31 for 156 yards, and underthrew a DK Metcalf on a key play in the fourth quarter, allowing uh, Jalen Ramsey to break it up. After uh, Cubs second TD, Los Angeles stopped Seattle on downs at midfield with 3:21 to play when Greg Gaines forced. Wilson to throw a, to throw quickly at, and officials didn't call a possible pass interference against Dallas by rookie Ram, uh, by rookie Rams linebacker Ernest Jones. Matt <coughs> Gay made his second field goal for Los Angeles with 151 left, and Taylor Rapp sealed it with an end zone interception in the final seconds. The Rams hung on uh, in a frustrating game with. Big performances from their remarkable quarterback receiver combo. Cup had his 10th consecutive game with at least 90 yards, receiving a first in the NFL in the past 70 years. Earlier, Stafford became the fastest quarterback in NFL history to rack up 50,000 yards passing uh, when playoff totals are included. Neither team reached the end zone in the first half, with, with the Rams scoring only three points despite possessing the ball for 21 minutes and driving into Seattle's uh, end four times. 
Uh, Quandre Diggs made his career high tying uh, fifth interception near uh, the Seahawks uh, goal line on the first snap. Second quarter to uh, kill a solid drive by the Rams offense. Uh, Los Angeles then turned uh, the ball over on downs uh, with a minute 56 before halftime, leading the Seahawks uh, field goal in a in a, in a 3-3 uh, halftime score. Dallas scored a cap to cap to cap a 75-yard drive by the Seahawks out of halftime. The Rams immediately, <coughs> immediately answered with. Uh, their first TD drive capped by a Cups historic catch. And while the Seahawks got to Stafford four times, Von Miller got his first sack uh, with the Rams during the first half, while Aaron Donald sacked Wilson in the second half for his 17th sack uh, in their uh, games, in the 17 games against each other. Uh, the Seahawks are Chicago on Sunday, and the Rams will be at Minnesota on Sunday, so uh, we'll see what they do against those teams. But it was a frustrating game for both uh, the Rams and the Seahawks, but the uh, L.A. Rams prepared. I have to give the game balls uh, to the C to the uh, L.A. Rams. Uh, Matt Stafford, 21 of 29 carries and attempts, 240, 244 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Sony Mitchell, uh, 18 attempts, 92 yards. Cooper Cup, uh, nine receptions, 136 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, we'll talk about the other game tonight in just a moment. But right now, it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 2 tonight football uh, doubleheader trivia question. It's an Eagles uh, question from 2004. In their Week 2 Monday night matchup against the Minnesota Vikings, how many total yards did the Eagles let the Vikes pile up on offense? If you said 410, you are correct. Minnesota put up a, a lot of yards on the Eagles' defense, 410 in total. Despite uh, this, the Vikings uh, were unable to score very much, reaching the end zone only once on a Dante Culpepper uh, for a touchdown pass to uh, Randy Moss, uh, passing score. Uh, the Eagles won 27-16 at home to improve the 2-0 on the season, and that was back in 2004. Uh, I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, now to uh, tonight's other game. Uh, the and I before we get to that, I took uh, the Rams uh, for tonight's game, and my brother-in-law did too. My brother-in-law Eric Hoyle, he did too, and we both won on that one, 20 to 17, 20 to 10. That was the final score. I don't know why I put 20. Uh, now to tonight's other game. The Philadelphia Eagles beat the Washington Football Team. Uh, 27-17 tonight at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Jalen Hurts had three touchdown passes in tonight's game against Washington. Uh, and uh, 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 Nick uh, Sarani yelled at Jalen Hurts on the sideline for being careless with the ball and, and losing a fumble. Then the Philadelphia Eagles uh, uh, coach saw his starting quarterback hold on tight to carry the team on his shoulders. Uh, Hurts ran for two touchdowns and threw for another, helping the Eagles come back from an early deficit to beat the uh, virus-ravaged uh, Washington football team 27-17 Tuesday night in a critical showdown with NFC uh, playoff implications. In his first game back uh, from an ankle injury, Hurts scored on a pair of one-yard uh, QB sneaks to set the single-season franchise record for rushing touchdowns by a quarterback with 10 and connected with Greg Ward on a 19-yard uh, touchdown pass. He played great football, a great football game, one of the best I've seen him play, uh, Serrani said of Hurts, 
Jalen is able to take a tough coaching. He responded great and played great and a, a great game. Excuse me. Uh, Hertz was 20 of 26 for for 296 yards, uh, passing with a with the TD and a bad luck interception when Dallas uh, Goder dropped a catchable pass and the ball bounced off his right foot into the hands of Washington's uh, Landon Collins. That was a bad bounce for Philly that helped uh, uh, stake Washington, now 6-8 and eight in the season, to a 10-point lead after the first uh, quarter behind a dominant effort from the offensive line. It was all Eagles, who are now 7-7 seven seven, uh, from there, uh, that out, uh, gained Washington 435 yards to 136 uh, the rest of the way and shut down uh, an opponent missing a handful of starters because of COVID-19 protocol. I told the guys we had to go in with the mentality of not being denied, Hertz said. We've had so many things go wrong early in the game, but we overcame it. Miles Sanders exploited the holes in the Washington defense left by those absences and additional injuries carrying the ball 18 times for a career-high 131 yards. Uh, credit to the offensive line, said Sanders, who became the first Eagles player with back-to-back 100-yard -back rushing games since uh, LeSean McCoy in 2014. They are making it very easy on the running backs to run behind them. Well-rested coming off uh, of its bye week, Philadelphia finished with 238 yards rushing, becoming the first team with 175 plus yards on the ground in seven consecutive games since the 1985 Chicago Bears. That's also a first in Eagles franchise history. It was unacceptable how they were running around Washington uh, de defensive end uh, Montez uh, Sweat uh, said. Uh, Goder made up uh, for his early blunder and it and uh, later drop catching seven passes for 135 yards, filling a 45-yard completion. Despite the game getting pushed back 54 hours because of Washington's coronavirus outbreak, the delay uh, did not allow uh, starting quarterback Taylor uh, Heineke or backup Kyle Allen to clear protocol in time to play. Garrett Gilbert, who signed Friday, completed nine of his first 13 passes and finished 21, uh, 20 of 31 for 194 yards. Uh, I got nothing but respect for Gary, said wide receiver Terry McLaurin, whose 46-yard catch was the longest play of the game. It was a challenging for all of us, but he did his job, and he put, <clears throat> put it all out there. Second year running back, Antonio Gibson ran for Washington's first touchdown and had uh, 20 of his rushing yards on that drive when he... Got the ball on seven plays. He was showed uh, by a toe injury. Uh, the same uh, derailed his rookies. The same thing that derailed his rookie season. Excuse me. And uh, Jared Patterson uh, had the other uh, team's other rushing uh, touchdown. Now these two COVID abs absences. Washington played without five starters who remained uh, in NFL COVID-19 protocol. Heineke, 2020 All-Pro, right guard Brandon. Uh, uh, Shrift, center Tyler uh, Larson, cornerback uh, Kendall uh, Fuller, and safety came uh, uh, in uh, curl. Reserve defensive tackle uh, Tim uh, Settle and third string tight end uh, Samus Reyes was cleared but inactive. Philadelphia's only virus related absence was uh, Landon, was starting uh, left guard Landon Dickerson. King makes history. Now, with Washington running backs rendering Randy Jordan unavailable because of COVID-19 protocols, assistant Jennifer King made uh, history filling in for him. King became uh, the first black woman to serve as a position coach for an NFL game. Uh, it wasn't really uh, any drop-off, Patterson said. Coach King is great. She uh, deservedly, deservedly uh, will be a coach one day, and she did really well. Up next, the uh, Washington visits the division-leading Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football 
And the Eagles host the Giants on Sunday. That's what's up next for them. Uh, and uh, I got to give Jalen Hurts uh, 18 attempts, 131 yards, and uh, uh, DJ Gogert uh, seven receptions, 135 yards. Uh, and I'll be back on Thursday for Thursday Night Football for the pregame show and my holiday podcast on Saturday on Christmas Day. Three, two, one. I'm done.